Hi, I'm Dr. Shelly Batra. I'm the co-founder and president of Operation Asha. So Operation Asha is an NGO focused on tuberculosis. When I heard the theme of the DD, scaling effectively, I was very intrigued and impressed because everyone talks of scaling. They don't talk of scaling effectively. What does scaling mean and what does scaling effectively mean? They are two entirely different things. Many programs go to scale, but something goes wrong on the way. Their quality goes down, their results are not up to the mark, or their costs go up astronomically. Scaling effectively is the opposite of all this. You go to scale, you are doing bigger, but you're actually doing it better. You are maintaining your costs, you're delivering a high quality, you're giving a measurable impact, and everything is accurately assessed, analyzed, and measured. That is what scaling effectively is all about. And this is why I'm delighted to be here at Development Dialogue. So Deshpande Foundation, our work with them has been very exciting. And for me, it has been a learning experience. I know everyone talks of learning experiences, but actually it's been a learning experience because we learned many things by our experience in Hubli. We learned that if there is a geographical distance, we are North India, then there are different challenges. Having to overcome these challenges has been a great learning experience for me and for the entire organization. And the very fact that the Shpande Foundation helped us at every inch of the way, they did literally, they did hand-holding so that we could overcome these challenges and deliver high quality results in Hubli in spite of the geographical difference. That is what has made, uh, made a difference to us. At a personal level, I feel Dr. Deshpande is a wonderful person. I was listening to him yesterday and he talked of a new concept. And the concept was the weakest link. A chain is as strong as its weakest link. So how do you translate that learning at a personal level, at an organizational level? And how do you find a solution to convert the weakness into a position of strength? That is what I learned from him on this occasion. Though DD this year has, has had a wonderful presence uh, from uh, concerned stakeholders, there are people from a huge number of people from the social sector, from the government, there are people from uh, universities, from the academia. I feel in the next DD, if they could have more representation of donors from India and abroad, if they could be CSR people coming here, listening to what people are doing, and if the social entrepreneurs could be asked, make a pitch, or if they could do something like a round table, have the donors sitting in a circle on various tables, and the social entrepreneurs can go introduce themselves and get, make the three minutes elevator pitch. That is going to help people a lot. And that is an idea that could be considered. Development dialogue, it's exactly what it says. It's a dialogue that leads to development. And the dialogue is between, it's among a lot of people the NGO people, with the governments, with local people, with donors like Dr. Deshpande, with the ultimate of aim of improving the country for providing the best to millions of disadvantaged who live in this world. When I first heard about the sandbox, I was quite intrigued that this is a concept where the focus is not one vertical. They're not talking of improving the lives of farmers or education or health. Rather, what I would say, it's a holistic approach. A totally holistic approach where in one particular area known as the sandbox, you bring the best models together. Someone is working in education, someone's in health, someone is in hygiene, in toilets, and the best models are being taken to scale within the sandbox. And these models are those that are scalable, replicable, low cost, high impact, they have a measurable impact. And when they come together, you can imagine it's going to be transformational. It'll bring about a whole revolution.